When you look at a lot of the businesses that were, that started out as, um, you know, brother and sister or family members, a lot of them either got bought out, you know, that one sibling bought out the other or siblings dropped off because it was too difficult. Um, so I'm not, I'm not down on transferring to kids because uh, it's, it does have its advantages. You know, one big advantage, keeping the business in the family. You know, if grandfather wanted it, started it, dad ran it, now they want the child to have it, that's one. Jobs for the kids. Sometimes kids aren't so employable, so they can find a home <laughs> inside of a business. Um, the owner gets a chance to work with the kids. You know, that's mm -hmm. kind of interesting to a lot of business owners. Uh, the business owner also can pick his or her departure date. You know, they know for sure Junior can run it. Mm -hmm. I've got all the confidence, and, and that's a good option too. And the, the, the fifth thing, and most important, is there is an opportunity sometimes for an owner to bleed out over a longer period of time more money than they would get otherwise in a third party sale. Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting dynamic. A lot of people that we're working with don't understand how we create plans to do that. Now the disadvantages always are the risk to achieving the financial objective. There's a longer payout window. You know, you don't it's not like a third party sale where you go in you know, and you get a check, you walk out of the closing, right? Yeah. Uh, and then the, the third thing, disadvantage is family discord and friction because it always comes up. And as you know, Jeff will tell you that's what he <laughs> specializes in. How do you do it? You know, sometimes we sit down with business owners and they're just dead set on transferring it to the to child. Uh, you know, the first thing you've got to ask yourself is, how much money do I need and how much money do I want? Mm -hmm. That's one. Two is how long, how long do I want to stay around? Do I want to stay involved? You know, because if, you're, if your child is real young and you, you've got eight to ten years to bring them up to a comfort level where you're, mm -hmm. you're comfortable, well, that, that's a, a problem, right? And the, the, third, the third is to whom I want to sell it to. So if that answer is you want to sell it to your child or transfer it to your child, you know that kids don't have any money. So they don't have money to buy it. So oh, yeah. it's going to involve some really careful, clever, and creative planning, creative business strategy that involves both tax and estate issues. This is, you know, what we do. This is how we design plans for people that don't have the full knowledge. They don't understand what their options and alternatives are for getting this done. So with the start of any plan, with the start of any successful exit strategy, we always make sure that the parents maintain control of the company until they get their final payment, okay? So any, any strategy involved, they get control. So, you know, so then how do you do it? How do you, uh, how do you gift? Uh, how do you get the business transferred? Well, you, you, you need to start off with an evaluation, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're, you're either gonna sell, sell stock, you're gonna gift stock, or you can be more creative in bonus stock, you know, s create plans that achieve that goal mm -hmm. through bonus and so forth.